Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I wanna to show you all a method that I use to apply my press on nails and that is using acrylic powder. So that is how I was able to get this set on this hand right here. So I'm gonna show you all how I got this look using acrylic powder. So first you need your press on nails of choice. So I have these here, I got these on clearance from Walmart. Next you'll need a clear acrylic powder. So I'm gonna be using the Speed Clear from Young Nails. You'll also need your monomer. I'm also gonna be using my monomer from Young Nails, along with a dehydrator of your choice. You could just use alcohol, but I'm gonna be using Swipe from Young Nails. And then also, um, you will need your acrylic brush. So I have this cheapy one that I got from a Kiss Kit years ago. And to me, it doesn't really matter what type of acrylic brush you use for this application, because you're really just picking up the bead and dropping it. It doesn't matter if it's smooth or anything like that. So. So whenever I do my press-ons using acrylic, I normally use this brush because this brush, I don't think it's that great. So I have that, and then I have my nails all sized up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these here, and we're gonna get to applying, y'all. Um, the first thing you'll wanna do, too, is you will want to etch out the inside of the nail with just a drill. So I've already done that here, but you know, you'll just go in and etch it out here on the inside. Um, I had some monomer in here. I don't think this is gonna be enough to do my whole hand. So I'm gonna just put just a little bit more monomer inside of here so that I don't run out while we're filming here, okay? So I have already filed, shaped, buffed my nails and pushed back my cuticle. So the next thing you wanna do is just dehydrate your nail. So I'm gonna go in with my swipe and do that. So you just wanna go over the entire nail, make sure it's nice and dehydrated. So I actually think I really like this swipe a lot because um, I'm noticing that while it dehydrates the nail and dries it out, it actually kind of leaves a little hint of moisture on there, which I'm actually not even used to because I normally just use uh, regular rubbing alcohol for this. But yeah, you guys, I think I'm liking this swipe. I see why people like really enjoy it. So yeah, so all the nails have been dehydrated, nice and cleansed, okay? So I also wanna go in with the Young Nails Primer here to see how long this set will last because I actually um, don't normally use primer when I'm doing my nails, um, simply because they last without it. But for this time around, I wanted to try it with primer just to see how long um, this Young Nails acrylic will actually last. So I don't have time to do like a full set of acrylic nails, which is what I really wanted to do. So I'm trying this method out and I'm gonna just test it and see you know, how long we can get this little press on set to last here. So yeah, and I'm gonna go in with two coats of the primer because um, that's what they say to do on the videos when they're doing their acrylic applications. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna do two generous coats of primer and then I'm gonna just kind of let that set for a little bit and then we're gonna go in with application, you guys. This method is super easy and that's why I really like doing it because if, you're, if you don't know how to do acrylic and you, don't want to use like nail glue because you know it pops off after a while. You don't want to use tabs, or if you don't want to use um, any other method to apply your press on nails, this method is awesome because it's almost like doing an acrylic set that's already kind of pre made. You know what I mean? So the design is already on the nails, and all you really have to do is just press it on. So I really like this method for that reason. Let's get these back here. Now I'm gonna go in with my speed clear here. Just open it up. And I always work from my index finger over and then down to my thumb. Because whenever I've had my thumb done first before, it was kind of difficult to like, you know, pick up stuff and, and it was kind of difficult to pick up stuff like I needed to. So you just pick up a small bead here, place it on the nail. Um, I'm kind of just gonna spread it out just a little bit so that it's kind of like an even coat. And then you'll pick up your press on nail, right? I'm gonna get close here so you all can see. So you'll put your press on nail on like this. And it's, it's really just like applying press ons. And then you just press, press, press. And if some spill out on the side, that's okay. And you'll wanna just hold it in place for maybe like 15 to 20 seconds. Like so. And then underneath you see this blob. So I'm actually gonna try to keep that in and just kind of smooth it out a little bit because um, last time I did press on nails with this, um, with these tips, they were kind of weak. And so I'm kind of gonna just spread the acrylic out underneath 
just to try and get it to strengthen that, that press on nail a little bit, if that makes sense. So that's my thought process here. We're trying to keep that little bit of acrylic that spilt out, but otherwise you'll just take like a little cuticle pusher and remove that. So that's what I got going on here now. We'll just take your cuticle stick here and then just remove any of the excess that spilled out on the side like so. And then on this side, you can see that it spilled out too. And again, you'll want to just take, you know, your cuticle pusher and just all that stuff just come right off. You'll want to take it off before it fully sets while it's still kind of gummy. Like so, if you have some around the cuticle area, you can try to remove that too. But around the cuticle too, I like to kind of push it slightly underneath my nail. So yeah, y'all, that's applied and that's how that looks. Doesn't it look nice and natural? Yeah, I really like this method a lot. So I'm gonna go through and do the rest of my nails like this. So I decided to pop in and just kind of further explain what I'm doing. Um, right here you see me, I'm just continuing to press on the nail for about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, just to make sure it has a good hold to it. And then here you see me using the back of the acrylic brush to just kind of smooth out and push the um, acrylic down to make sure it's a nice smooth application. And so yeah, this application in total took about five minutes to do so one minute per finger and um, once you finish the application you want to make sure you go around the cuticle area of each individual finger as well as the side walls and remove any acrylic that might be there and that will stop any lifting and so here I just went ahead and did it in real time just so that you all can um, see again how long it actually takes to do one finger it's about one minute total and while I'm here um, I also wanted to just share with you all some exciting news on my channel so I finally reached 1,000 subscribers you guys Woo! I am so excited and over the moon about that so again I just want to pop in show my appreciation say thank you I appreciate each and every last one of you all. Nothing goes unnoticed here on my channel. Everybody who has ever commented, everybody who has ever liked, anybody who's ever shared my um, videos, or even anybody who's ever watched it, I sincerely appreciate everything you all have done. Um, without you all, I would not be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And definitely um, stay tuned because I am going to be hosting a 1,000 subscriber giveaway that's coming soon. Um, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. Now let's get back into the video and check out this finished look. Okay, so all the nails have been applied with the acrylic. This is what it is looking like so far. It looks beautiful. And you guys can see even at the cuticle line, like it looks really natural. Like it's coming out of my nails. Like I like coming out of my nail bed. It's almost like you know, I did this set myself. The last thing you wanna do is just kinda of shape it a little bit. So typically press on nails have that little tab here at the tip. I'm gonna go through each one and just kinda of like file that away just so it's really nice and smooth and looks really natural. And I'm gonna go and do that ever so lightly. You don't need to have a heavy, heavy hand with that. nice and smooth the way I want it because if it's not smooth now it's not going to be smooth when you apply your top coat to it so let me just actually I'm going to just go through and just buff the edge of the nail to make it smooth because I don't want it to be rough at all I've had that happen before and it just bothered me the whole time I had my set on so you just want to go through and just buff it just to make sure it's just kind of like smooth all around so this is on some trying to get the nails to look as natural as possible. These steps aren't really super required, but they help. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, 
that's good. Next, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in with my gel base and top coat. Since I use the Young Nails Speed Clear Acrylic, I'm gonna go ahead and use their base and top coat. This did come in my mystery box, y'all, so I'm trying to get used out of all my products that I got. But yeah, you'll wanna go in with the base. So technically, you don't need a base coat, right? I think you could just go in with the gel top coat and be fine. Um, but sometimes the surface of the press-on nail is so smooth that the top coat kind of peels off a little bit. So this is my first time actually trying this base coat first and then a top coat. That's to make sure that top coat doesn't peel off. And then also, just to give the nail a little bit more strength. So I'm gonna go in with the base here. I do think this base, yeah, this base is of a little bit of a thicker consistency, which is good. So I'm gonna go in with the base and just do a really thin layer over all the nails, like so. So this is what the base coat looks like after it's been cured. Y'all, this is looking so cute, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with the gel top coat. And with this, you wanna make sure you also cap the free edge. And this should allow everything to kinda stay in place and allow for some good longevity of the nails. I'm gonna go through and do that to all the nails. And then cure for 60 seconds as well. Alright you guys, this is what she is looking like. Okay, does it look like I just did a full set on myself or what? This looks absolutely beautiful. So one thing I did do, um, so that Young Nails uh, gel top coat, it was not as shiny as I would have liked for it to have been. So I just went in with my Beatles top coat. And um, so I just went in with my Beatles top coat to go ahead and get that shine that I want. But look how cute this is y'all. I didn't even have to do anything but lay some acrylic down and throw a press on on top. So if you all have not tried that acrylic method for your press ons, you definitely should give it a shot. It's really quick and easy and it just saves a lot of time so that you know you don't have to do too much if you need a quick set. So I'm going to go in with some cuticle oil. Okay. Ain't she cute though? Y'all can't tell me I didn't just go to the shop and get my nails did though, okay? This looks like salon quality nails, y'all. And all it is is some press-ons. Like, what? This to this, okay? So yeah, if y'all have not tried this method, I highly recommend it. I am gonna come back with an update too, just so that you all can see how long this method actually lasts. In the past when I've done it, I've only ever done this method using Kiss um, acrylic powder, and I think that lasted me like a week, week and a half. Um, so I wanna see how long this lasts using higher quality products with the Young Nails um, powder and acrylic. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I have no doubt that these will be on for at least two weeks. So yeah, that's my goal. I don't have time to kind of do my nails anymore right now. So I'm just gonna try to keep these on as long as possible. I'll be back with an update to let you all know how they held up. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. How do you all apply your press on nails? I have also seen some people applying their press on nails using poly gel, which I like the concept of. So I might actually do a video on that next and let you all know how that holds up for me too. But yeah, let me know how do you all apply your press on nails and how long do they normally last? Um, yeah, I'd really be interested interested to hear about that so yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday um, if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye It's been exactly nine days since I have applied these press-on nails and they are looking absolutely beautiful still. So y'all can see there's been just a slight bit of new growth here. Um, but yeah, they still look like I just did them. Um, I am absolutely loving this method of applying my press-on nails using acrylic. Um, as you can see, there's like no lifting. There's absolutely no lifting at all. Like I'm so impressed with this. 
It seems like their protein bond worked really well. I'm really impressed um, with the Young Nails product so far. Um, that's my first time actually applying their acrylic directly to my natural nail. Um, so yeah, I'll be excited to do an actual acrylic set uh, using the Young Nails products and see how long they last. But given how this held up, I'm sure it's going to last a really long time. So yeah, if you all haven't tried this acrylic method with press-ons, you definitely should. So I'm back with another update. Um, I am feeling much better, so my voice is back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to give you all a two-week update. So today marks two weeks exactly since I applied this press-on set using acrylic acrylic and y'all can see it's still holding up it still looks really fresh and kind of looks like I just need my nails so I'm really liking this method a lot I'm actually very very impressed all the nails are still on none of them have fallen off none of them have popped off on this hand in particular absolutely none of the nails and when I say none I mean none of the nails are loose like you can see here at the cuticle area nothing is lifting so I'm actually a little bit nervous about how I'm gonna get these nails off my hand over here on this hand in particular, two of the nails are loose. So my pointer finger and my thumb, but my middle finger, not loose. This not loose, this not loose. Now, my pointer finger, you can see it's loose at the cuticle here, so it's about to pop off soon. And my thumb is also really loose. So you can see it's lifting, and it's actually starting to lift over here too. So honestly though, for two weeks of wear, using some press-ons y'all i'm not mad at it um the young nails products i think this has let me um know how good that protein bond is it is liquid gold for me to not have lifting on this hand at all and only on two fingers over here i'm impressed and anytime i've done this method using different acrylic um at least one of the nails have popped off i had to reapply or there's been way more lifting so i am really impressed with that and even i guess because i used clear acrylic like the new growth you can barely even tell that it's there you know you can see it kind of here on this finger and then kind of here on this finger but the rest of them if you're looking from a distance you can't really tell too much new growth in the nails which I'm pretty impressed about um, but also too, something that probably attributed to that is um, the fact that I slightly tucked the press on nail underneath the cuticle so I guess it gives me a little bit more longevity when I wear my nails doing that method but yeah um, I hope you all like this video um, definitely highly recommend doing the press on method with uh, acrylic um, I use the young nails acrylic and I'm actually wanting to start a series on my channel where I just try uh, applying press-ons with different methods and so next I'm going to try applying press-ons using poly gel and then I'm also going to try a different brand of acrylic one that's kind of more affordable um, and that is the Mia Secret because I have the Mia Secret clear acrylic so I'm going to try applying my press-ons using that and um, also at some point I want to try my press-ons using this so um, and that's just Loctite super glue I've seen some people apply their press-ons with that and got two weeks of wear I'm not really sure how I'm gonna take this set off, so I'm a little nervous about that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you all have any other ways that you wanna see me apply press-ons, let me know. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.